Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rafael and today I'm working on a SSD. This is going to be something different. As you can see, this connector is pretty burned. I usually don't do SSDs, but uh, in this case I figure it's worth trying. Especially that I got a, a bad, the same SSD. So what I'm going to do is try to move the good connector here and hopefully this still works. Let's check it out. First thing first, uh, I'm going to cut or remove these pins from the connector. I don't want to put too much heat here since this is potentially still good and we want the data from here. So I tried this first, that's kind of hard to get in. So I'm going to try with these first. This might not look gentle, but I am gentle not to uh, rip the pads. I'm just trying to uh, pull the connector from here, not from the pad. So you can see it just snaps off. I'll show down the microscope in a second. So you can see. This one's cleaned up, now I'll do this one and then I can just pull, should be able to pull out this plastic. Now this was burned for some reason, so maybe the pads are actually slightly damaged in some cases. All right, so I removed all the pins uh, from the board and now I'm going to remove this old connector. Hopefully that won't be too hard. Seems like it just slides out. There we go. So now I'm gonna clean all these pads. Some of them are damaged, but uh, nothing that I cannot fix. I'm going to put some flux and clean this, uh, the pads. When the pads are gone, I'm not too worried about them. I will just, uh, I'll fix that. For now, let's just clean the pads. One more. It looks like these are connected together. So that might be ground or something. Okay, I'm not to worry about this for now. Let's remove the good connector from the donor. I'm going to put flux on the connector. And then I'm going to use low temp uh, soldering paste to make the solder on the pads uh, easier to remove because I want to overheat the plastic and you know damage the plastic Honestly, it doesn't seem like this is holding too hard. So I'm gonna fire up the hot air. I'm just gonna clamp it like that. Try to pull the connector off. Got it. Some of the pins are soldered together. I can clean that up. And it's just recording all the time, huh? Let's use some flux. Some of the pins are not all the way in. I can push them in. And then we're gonna solder all of these. I'm gonna make a jumper too. So before I actually uh, solder that in, I, will, I would like to clean the pads with the wick so they're nice and flat. Where's my wick? I'm 
Bam. This wick is really good. I just got it. And I really like it. It's very thin and it grabs solder very well. Oh man, you didn't see that. But uh, it's MG Chemicals. Also use their solder, lead free. Good stuff. And for the low temp, it's Asare low temp. Or I'll also use, where is this? Mechanic from microsolderingsupply.com. So this is how the situation looks like right now. Um, I will have to make a jumper here, potentially here, but that's not a big problem. And now we're gonna solder one by one. Start from here, this is gonna be easy. I think they are connected anyways, so that's fine. Let me just use up the, oh, there you go. I might have to do a jumper here. This might not be perfect, but I think it's good enough. jump this one but they all three the all three of them are connected so I can just jump it the pad is stuck on the soldering iron so I'm gonna move it under the pin and solder to the resistor now let's add some solder here so I just don't like the way it looks like That nice. <laughs> okay. So I think everything here looks good. Three, one, two, three, one, two. This is going here. This is other. This is other. One. These three connect together. here looks all good okay so this is good for a test let me clean it first though and do some cleaning and this is what we got Good to go. Well, let's plug a computer and see what's gonna happen. All right, so right now, here's the drive. I'm going to plug to this station here. Let's see if Mac is gonna recognize the drive. And we already see this here. Windows. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you the files, but it's all there. So, this was a successful repair. Um, if you have any issues like that, I can change the connector. Go to ifixlogicboards.com. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later in the next video.